guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you see this title and you're probably like, oh my gosh, is this for real? We've been waiting for this day forever. Everyone is always commenting on all my stuff saying, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? When are you getting pregnant? When do you want kids? And yes, I am pregnant. I am officially pregnant. Actually, when I'm making this video, I'm only seven weeks, but um, it'll go up in a couple weeks from now. So I wanted to make this video now and just to kind of let you guys know that yes, I am pregnant. If you've been wondering why my videos, I've looked really tired, like I don't have a lot of makeup on or just like this, um, that's why, because I'm exhausted and I don't feel well. And it's so awesome, but at the same time, I'm just drained every single day. So yes, I'm pregnant. I am due the beginning of October and it's super exciting and I know a lot of you are probably gonna wanna like follow along and hear updates and things like that. I'm still gonna keep this channel all about nursing. I may do a couple videos here and there just about like some tips of being pregnant and being a nurse and things like that, but I really wanna focus this channel on nursing rather than my pregnancy. So if you're wanting to follow along and see like how we announced that I'm pregnant, when we found out, what I'm doing week to week as far as pregnancy, I will link my vlogging channel and my like personal channel down below so you can go follow those and subscribe and see all the videos that I've put out that are pregnancy related. Um, but I'm so excited. I know you guys are probably wondering like how did I tell my work and things like that. So I kind of wanted to touch a base on that just a bit here because that's kind of a big deal when you become a nurse and you become pregnant. It's not really, depending on what type of nurse you are, it's not really a job where you can just keep it a secret for a long time until you're like ready to tell everyone. I mean, you always can, but it's kind of difficult slash dangerous to you and your baby because your immune system is down when you're pregnant and there's a lot of things that you're exposed to as a nurse that can put you and your baby at risk. So immediately when I found out I was pregnant, the next shift that I worked after I found out I was pregnant, it was like a couple days after I found out, I went and talked to my managers and I let them know that I'm pregnant and I wasn't going to be telling everyone else at work yet, but just as far as like patient assignments, if they could just be mindful of like patients that are maybe have the flu or, you know, they know all of that stuff. Like if there's a TB patient, they're obviously not gonna like assign the pregnant nurse <laughs> the TB patient. Um, and so they have been wonderful at who they've assigned me to. I've had patients that are, I don't wanna say clean because obviously like there's still germs involved, but um, they've been really great at assigning me like appropriate assignments and things like that. And I've told a couple of my close friends at work. I still haven't told everyone at work yet, which by the time this video is out, I'm sure most of them will know because I will have announced like on social media and just talked about it more so at work. Um, it's not that I'm trying to keep it a secret, it's just that I kind of wanna wait to announce until I'm a little bit further along. And um, I haven't really ran into any issues of like nurses asking, sorry, I'm like, <sighs> I get so out of breath. I haven't really ran into any issues of like nurses asking me like, hey, can you come help and turn, turn this patient? And the patient's like on contact for something that could be dangerous to me. I haven't ran into that yet. Um, but if I did, I would just be like, I'd probably pull them aside and be like, hey, like, I can't really help you because I'm pregnant and I just, you know, and they would be totally understanding, it'd be fine. So um, I haven't ran into that yet, but if I did, I would be ashamed to just say that I'm pregnant. But um, anyway, so it's been, well, I guess it's been really difficult to work. I've been so tired. I have not been feeling well. I've been nauseous and it's really hard to take care of other people when they're really sick. And I, I, don't, I hate to use this word because so many people are gonna be like, oh, you're a bad nurse. But when patients are icky, like they're gross, like you've got, you're puking, you've got diarrhea and all these like body fluids. And usually that doesn't bother me, but I've been extra sensitive to that stuff. I had a patient the other day that just like projectile vomited out of nowhere, just everywhere. <laughs> and I was like turning my head and like dry heaving, not like obviously where it's like, you know, there's like a difference between like obvious dry heaving and like just silent dry heaving. But the patient was like dry, uh, projectile vomiting and I was like turning my head, like holding the suction up and being like, it's okay, I'm sorry you don't feel well. And I'm over here like, ugh. And that normally doesn't happen to me. So that was really interesting and um, 
quite the experience. So <laughs> I'm sure I'll have more things like that. But otherwise, work's going well. It's obviously tiring. I obviously don't feel well. And I just have to power through because I want to be able to work while I'm pregnant. I want to save up money. I want to have PTO for when I go on my paternity leave, all that. And I'm kind of getting too much into this pregnancy thing. So I will leave it at that. Let me know if there's certain video guys, videos you guys want to see related to pregnancy and nursing. But again, I'm going to keep this channel basically my nursing channel and then pregnancy will be on other stuff. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'm so excited and thank you. I'm sure you guys will be super supportive. So thank you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.